Hi, so we're going to install NodeMon in Visual Studio Code. We're going to install this package. It is a tool that helps develop Node.js applications by automatically restarting the Node application when the file changes in the directory are detected. So what we do is we first open the Visual Studio Code. You can see. So I have a file opened here, app3.js. You can open a new file if you want we have a terminal that is open here uh, we can you can close it you can open a new terminal if you want a new terminal will open right so what we what we need to do to install it is simple just type in npm install paste g in small and node mon this will install the node mon package and uh, you'll be good to go so like we've made a simple program here if we want to we want to print something right just a little hey welcome Uh, you know, we save it. Now, what we do is we'll to execute it in the terminal. Just write node mon is three dot js app three dot js is the file name. So you see, it's it's done that. Now, if I make a little change here and I save it, so it will automatically keep keep making this. I I don't have to save the file and keep running it again and again i just have to save it once and it will automatically keep executing the file so if you want to get back get out of this uh, node mode all you have to do is press control and see it together and that's it you you are out now you out of the node mode now this installation is possible if you are running the visual studio code as an administrator but sometimes uh, access is denied to people who are not running as administrator the visual studio code is not running as administrator so what you can do for that is uh, what you need to do first of all is in the terminal type npm config get prefix right so this this you see this this is the important one that we need so what we do then is you open the edit the system environment variables go to environment variables click on the path Right, so we have this here. Yeah, make sure you got this app data roaming slash npm. Okay, okay, okay. And then you go to the Windows PowerShell. Get execution policy my windows powershell is showing i have unrestricted access so that means i can easily uh, install node node mon in my terminal but, but there are instances where instead of having unrestricted here you will have restricted on typing get execution policy once you're getting that as the output what you need to do is you need to, you should write set execution policy sorry it has to be together no space to unrestricted it will give you an option you just have to type in hi but, but this is giving me an error here because i am already having the unrestricted option but 
uh, if you if you have a if in place of unrestricted unrestricted you are having restricted coming as the output on get execution policy you need to type the set execution policy unrestricted and then you press y right after that uh, this will you can check again type again get execution policy it will come at that moment it will show you yes you should get unrestricted then once you have that you can close this you can close your visual studio and restart it and once you restart it you can follow the same steps just simply type npm install slash g node mon and after that you can check it out and to get out of this node mon just press ctrl and c hope this